Good afternoon, D&D TikTok and Barbecue TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Barbecue. Let's get it done. As always, this series is inspired by the popular Roll for Sandwich series by Adventures in Ardia. All right, let's roll for meat. One beef. We haven't had a beef roll in a minute, so how are we making this? Seven steak. You can't beat a good steak. Today we're going to be using two New York strips. All right, let's roll for binder. Six oil. I usually prefer oil as a binder because I want to keep that natural beefy flavor. Make sure you coat both sides with a thin layer of oil. And now we're rolling for seasonings. We're officially down to our last two Blues Hog seasonings. We're going to be using our six-sided dice to go odds and evens. All right, let's roll for rubs. One, truffle and chop. This rub is awesome. It's a bold and savory seasoning with a depth of fresh truffles. You guys know the drill. We're gonna go ahead and season both sides and let them rest on this cutting board for 30 minutes. Don't rub the seasoning in, just pat it in. All right, let's roll for woods. Six, dealer's choice, and we're going for mesquite wood. We're grilling these steaks on the Char Griller Auto Kamado. We're gonna go ahead and throw on the steaks and give them a light pat to establish those grill marks. Make sure you give the steaks a 90 degree turn when there's no resistance. Cook your steak how you like it. I like getting mine to a medium or a medium rare style. These steaks will be on the grill for six to eight minutes total. And now it's time for wild magic. Nine, grilled onions. I don't think I could have rolled a better combo. I sliced up one whole onion and threw it into a cast iron with two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And we're gonna cook those along with the steak. We're gonna pull these steaks and let them rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes while we work on those onions. I like cooking my onions in a cast iron because they add a depth of flavor to them. And of course, we're gonna add a little truffle and chop to those onions as well. We've let those steaks rest for about 15 minutes and now it's time for that slice. Just the way I like it. These steaks are medium rare, a little closer to medium. We're gonna slice it up and put those grilled onions right on top. This looks good so far, but the D20 sauce roll could ruin that real quick. 14, Arby sauce. Well, there you have it. Don't get me wrong, I love Arby sauce, but I don't think it goes on a New York strip. So, here we go. All right, this steak isn't half bad. The Arby sauce is almost acting like a steak sauce, like your traditional A1 steak sauce. And just as expected, those grilled onions are a chef's kiss on that steak. That seasoning is really good on this as well. Because I'm not traditionally a steak sauce fan, I think I'm gonna have to give this overall a 7.2 out of 10, and we're gonna call this the Saucy Strip. That wraps up episode 15. A big shout out to Blues Hog for sponsoring today's episode. We have one more seasoning left, and we're gonna give you another one on Monday. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you then.